How it do, how it be. It's me, and today we're making mac and cheese. This is Today's episode of Elliot's Kitchen is not sponsored by Kraft Mac and Cheese. So yeah, today we're going to be making four versions of mac and cheese for you guys. Mac and cheese time. Hey Google, set a timer for eight minutes. Sure, eight minutes. Starting now. And now we wait. Stop. Also, always a rule, just always put more cheese in to your mac and cheese. Alright, we got our normal mac and cheese done. So it's time to make some new ones. Alright, first one. I call mix and cheese. Take some mac and cheese. Take a spoonful of salsa. Add some cumin. Add some chipotle. And a tiny bit of chili powder. And that right there is mexaroni and cheese. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat these all at the end. All right, next one I call Mamma Mia. It's a macaroni and cheese. I know, I'm working on the names. This one you're going to want some marinara sauce, you're going to want some uh, shredded mozzarella. I would garnish with some fresh, uh, freshly grated parmesan, but we don't have any, so we're going to put a little bit more mozzarella on, and then garnish with some fresh basil. And that is some Mamma Mia! It's macaroni and cheese. Next up, I call the mac and cheese burger. Wait, that no, I meant mac and cheese burger. Cause it's like a cheese burger. Anyways, here we have some ground beef that I cooked up earlier. It's just salt and pepper, just ground hamburger. Good squirt of ketchup, good squirt of mustard, some poorly diced pickles, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of garlic powder. And boom, there you have it mac and cheese burger. And finally, it wouldn't be Elliot's Kitchen without a weird one. So the final one is a PB and J and M and C. And take a spoonful of peanut butter, a spoonful of jelly, and to make it like a sandwich, we got some uh, panko breadcrumbs, so. All right, here you have it, the PB and J and M and C. I think now it's time to try all these. M -m 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 money shot. All right, we're here at the tasting station. This is the macaroni and cheese. Let's give it a taste. Tastes like how you'd expect. Ooh, got a little spiciness to it. Overall, it's pretty good. I'd do a little less uh, chipotle or chili powder, but other than that, that's pretty good. I give it like a seven out of 10. All right, next one is the Mamma Mia, it's a macaroni and cheese. Let's try it. Really just tastes like normal pasta with marinara sauce, but like a little bit more cheesy, but that's all. So this one's pretty good. I. You know, I'd also give it a, I'd also give it a seven out of ten. You know, because it's not anything special, but it's still pretty good. All right, this one is the mac and cheese burger, and we're gonna try it. I feel like this one's gonna be the best. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 
This one's, this one's the best. Definitely. I mean, I haven't tried the Mac, the PB and J one, but I feel like this one's definitely the best. I'd give this one like a eight and a half out of ten because I don't want to give it a nine, but it is still pretty good. All right, final one: the PB and J and M and C. This one, I regret this already. You know, as they say, this one's for you, Kurt. It's good, but like, I wouldn't eat it as its own meal. It's only good because it tastes like peanut butter and jelly, but it's not that good. I'd give it like a six out of 10. It's not that, not that good. But I don't really like uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches anyways, but so if you do, this might be more your style. I don't know, try it. So these were my modified mac and cheeses. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. We'll see you all on Friday with a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.